please don't be ugly. Please don't be ugly. Please. Please. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> Hi guys! Today I've got a very exciting YesStar haul. YesStar has very kindly given me a hundred dollar voucher to spend on their site. How would I spend it? You know how sometimes you want to get cute clothes but you don't know where to start? Don't worry, I got your bag. I'll be reviewing nine very, very cute and trend pieces I found on the site so you don't have to trawl through thousands of pages. If you want anything from YesStyle, you can use my code VIKINGS with two Ks like Vicky to get yourself a little discount. I've also linked all the pieces down below. I honestly can't wait to show you guys my cute finds. Let's get started. The first item is this white v-neck cami. I've been wanting to jump on the bandwagon for so long because the 90s cami trend is back. The material is a little see-through but it's not paper thin. You can even get away with not wearing a bra. But um, you might want to wear some nipple covers if you don't want them to show. Even though it's polyester, the material is still pretty smooth on skin. I got this in the medium. It fits snug but it's not uncomfortable because the material's got a lot of give. I was a little worried about the boob situation because yes style sizes tend to run small. I am normally a New Zealand small and um, my girls are fairly petite so I don't know if sizing up means that I'll end up with a couple of <laughs> loose sacks in front of my chest. But it turned out to be surprisingly flattering. These under boob elastics kind of gave my girls a little lift. One thing I have to flag though is that if you have a larger chest you would definitely need to size up because you won't get enough coverage in this area. I see a lot of girls on Instagram styling these camis with cute little denim shorts or mini skirts but I reckon this would look amazing with a pair of straight leg ripped jeans. For accessories you can stack some gold necklaces and also add a cute little pastel bag because it adds a pop of colour and is very trendy. You can also add a bit of height by wearing a pair of chunky sneakers and you've got yourself an off-duty celebrity outfit. A legit 5 out of 5. This is such a gem of a find for $12 guys. Continuing with the whole 90s cami theme, I got myself another cute little top. The material of this blue cami is pretty much the same as the previous top. I think a medium fits me perfectly because it's got a really good stretch. I love the ruching detail because it really gives my itty bitty chest a little bit of visual interest. This cami is not as revealing as the previous one, so girls with bigger chest, I think this might be a better style for you. If you want extra support, you can always wear a strapless bra underneath because it completely covers it up. Baby blue is so trendy right now and it goes so well with white. So I decided to pair this top with a pair of white Y leg jeans. But if it's summer on your side of the world and you want to show off your legs, you can always swap these jeans with a mini skirt or a tennis skirt. Carry on with the 90s vibe. I dug up my very beat up Chuck Taylors, which show that my feet and my height haven't grown since I was 18. I have to give this 5 out of 5. The ruching detail and the bustier cut made this top very trendy and very flattering and you have to have it. I bought 4 cardies. Do I need 4? Absolutely not. Well, might as well make it 5. I got myself yet another cardigan because every single cute girl is wearing one on Instagram and I am obsessed with this trend. This v-neck cardi is so flattering. The rip knit is super soft and comfortable and it has a lot of gifts so even though it only comes in one size, it just kind of wraps around my body perfectly. The frilly edges are super cute and I love this green because it's so flattering for my skin tone. It's a little cheeky because the top and the bottom of this cardi, they don't actually close up properly. It only has four buttons. If you don't want to show too much skin, I would suggest to wear a thin turtleneck underneath. But because I'm trying to look so very hot, I have left the top button unbuttoned to show more boobage. This cardi will look cute with any type of denim, but because I want to continue dressing like a Gen Z student, I have worn it with a cute frilly mini skirt, some cute little socks, and my trusty Air Force ones. To finish the look off, I have chucked on my favorite touristy bag, which is a cat camera bag that literally says camera. I rate this 5 out of 5 for $19. This will literally make you feel like a matcha green tea princess. It feels like holes and gaps are back in fashion. Cut out crop tops are so popular right now so I decided to give this sexy black top a go. I got this top in a medium. It fits pretty snug but it doesn't actually cut into my body. The material is sort of like a sturdy cotton. Very stretchy but holds its shape really well. Now let's talk about the neckline situation. I don't actually fill this top properly up here. Maybe it's the make or maybe I need more meat in the collarbone area but this part just sort of 
flaps up but it's still a mega flattering top it's super stylish and it looks more expensive than what it is the loungewear trend is so popular right now so I decided to pair this top with a pair of black sweatpants and these very loud Air Jordan 3s complete your look with a belt bag and you instantly look like an Instagram baddie I do love this top and it's only $11 but I have to give this a 3.5 out of 5 because of the neckline floor. The next item is this white t-shirt. You might think, Vicky, why do you bother reviewing a plain white tee? Check this out guys. It says, let's avocuddle. Isn't it the cutest thing in this world? Do watch out for the sizing though. It only comes in one size and I thought this would be a lot more oversized. I would call this loose fitted but I won't call it oversized. It's not unflattering at all but if you want that slouchy look you might not be able to get it with this tee. The material is a little funky. From the photos on the website I thought this was just going to be plain cotton but it turns out to be cotton mixed with polyester. It's way more stretchier than what I expected. You can tuck this tee into a mini skirt and pair it with a cute pair of white sneakers and complete the look with a mini handbag and everyone will want to avo cuddle you. I'm giving this Four out of five. The material and the sizing kind of knocked a point off, but I can see myself wearing this everywhere as an icebreaker. The next top is more than just a black hoodie. It's your key to the latest trend because it's great for layering. I got this in an extra large. I sized up big time, but I really want to achieve that oversized look that is very on trend right now. If I got this in a medium, I think it will be way too fitted. The hoodie is super soft and it's got that fleecy material inside that would keep me nice and warm in winter. But the elastic bands are a little crunchy. The quality is quite thin, but it does have a lot of give. So if you want to pull the hoodie past your bum, you still can. I love the cutting of this hoodie. It's oversized, but it doesn't look sloppy at all, like chucking on a men's hoodie because it's got this nice silhouette and it holds its shape really well. And the silver wear at the end of the pulling strings makes it sort of like a fashion piece. I love layering this hoodie under an oversized blazer. Chuck on a pair of cat eye sunnies, bike shorts, a pair of neoprene boots, and you instantly look fashionable without even trying. But if you want to dress it down, you can just lose the blazer, chuck on some white sneakers instead of the neoprene boots, and you look like the trendiest person walking out of Starbucks. I would give this 4.5 out of 5. The elastic bands are not super sturdy, but for its price, this is a great buy. It's an essential item for your wardrobe and you'll get so much wear out of it. Okay, TikTok made me buy this. Fashion God, I'm so sorry for having no backbone and just blindly following trends. But guys, don't you just love the slit miniskirt trend? <laughs> it's the perfect combination of sexy and cute. So I got this velvety miniskirt in large. I could probably squeeze into a medium because the material's got a lot of girth but it will make the skirt a little too short. It is super flattering. The slit is off a good length so you don't feel like you're too exposed but it sort of makes your legs look longer. I can see why girls on Instagram are digging this style because it instantly accentuates your curves and makes me feel like Cardi B even though I'm just for QC. The fabric is super soft, but I would suggest to give it a light press before you wear it. The folding actually made a huge crease in the middle of my skirt. I'm so overexposed, but I actually want to show you guys the make of the skirt. So when you see the inside, the hem is actually just folded down. It's not actually sewn in. So the make is pretty lo-fi. So I've decided to pair my skirt with a black turtleneck and this chunky necklace just to dress it up a bit. Pop on some simple strappy heels because they help lengthen your legs. Chuck on a satchel bag and you're ready to <laughs> cut some shapes in the club. But if you want to dress the outfit down, you can just put on a denim jacket, chuck on a belt bag, put on some platform boots and you've got yourself a super edgy look. I rate the skirt 4 out of 5. The quality isn't top notch but the fit and style kind of made up for it and it's super versatile so I reckon it's a must have this season. As if one mini skirt isn't enough, I got myself another one. This checkered mini skirt is so damn cute. I loved it as soon as I saw it on the model but I was also conscious of the sizing so I went up to large. Great decision Vicky. Large fits perfectly and I've still got room to tuck in my shirt. The material is not as thick and sturdy as what I expected. As you can see it's actually quite thin 
but there is a layer of lining underneath so your undies won't really show through. Gingham and checkered patterns are super on trend right now and this skirt is very easy to style. I paired it with an oversized slouchy white shirt and wore some low white heels. You can totally dress it down by wearing a white t-shirt and some white sneakers. I added some simple gold jewellery and a blush bag to complete the look and this could be your classy brunch outfit. I'm giving this 4.5 out of 5. The material is not as substantial as what I expected, but the style is just so cute, it kind of made up for it. The finale of this haul is this awesome faux shilling jacket. The whole fluffy outerwear thing is such a trend right now, and I'm so glad I found this after trawling through millions of pages on new style. I got this in an extra large. I really want this to be oversized so I can comfortably layer a turtleneck or knit top under it. And if you really want to have that slouchy silhouette you have to upsize. The material is super warm and soft it makes me feel like I'm wrapped up in clouds. It also has a couple of pockets so you can keep your hands warm in winter. Even though it says dark blue on the website the color is actually more like a grayish blue and I absolutely love it because it works so well with all the blacks and whites even neutrals in my wardrobe. The wide sleeves are awesome I love the drop shoulders and also really love this double breasted situation because if you button it up you can have a closed lapel and it just looks more put together but you can also do this and you just look extra cozy. One thing to note though it does molt a little bit so you might get these little furs on your skirt and your black top just use a lint roller to roll them off and you'll be sweet. I style this jacket with a turtleneck bodysuit an asymmetric skirt with contrast stitching some knee-high boots and I pretty much got myself a runway ready look in my bedroom. Channeling my in a Parisian, I completed the look with a beret. This outfit would look super cute with a trendy baguette bag, but I've run out of budget. Don't worry, I'll show you how to hack it. You can just get your normal crossbody bag and just loop the strap around the flat ones, close the flap, and then you got yourself a baguette bag. This jacket deserves five out of five. It's like straight out of Vogue material. Maybe I should do a Vogue challenge in this. That's it from me guys, I hope you liked my Yee Style picks and my very honest review. If you like more Yee Style hauls, you can check out the other video. It's got a lot of cute pieces as well, and you might want to see more try-ons before you hit that buy button. Please hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification so you won't miss my uploads. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out!